Hi, my name's Richard. This is the start of my electric car project. What you can see I've got here is two electric fork trucks. I've got an opportunity to strip down to get some bits up for, for my conversion. I'm hoping to do a cheap conversion of a Rover 214 to fully electric power. And I've been given the opportunity of work to ship these two electric fork trucks down. That are way past their sell by date. Uh, that's the other one there, which is a shield machine, and this one here is a Hamic machine. Uh, this one here, which I've just been working on today, is a 72 volt machine. Um, had a bit of a result with that today, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Uh, this other machine here is a steel machine, which I took apart a quite a few weeks ago now. Out of this one, I took the hydraulic pump motor, all of the wiring and the control boards. The batteries in both of these machines are shot because they have been sitting for about five years and they're completely dead. They were on the way to the scrap road anyway, so I hope to now officially buy these off my company for a minimum amount and then be able to get money back when I scrap them. This one's now ready to go to the scrap yard. I left the tractor motor in there. Mainly because it's such a huge motor. It's buried down inside there. It's far too big put in the Rover 214 that I've got at home, which I'll show you later. <coughs> um, the other one, the other motor in here was the power steering motors I've taken out, but it's probably too small, so out of this 80 volt machine I've taken the pop motor out of it, which is rated up to 2000 RPM, 15 kilowatt, which I gave us about right for the sort of conversion I'm doing. Um, this other machine here, the Hamic, is a 72 volt machine, uh, which originally I wasn't going to use, but for reasons that I'll point out in a minute, I may well now be using the control gear, which is all coming out lovely on this drop down flap. It's got all the bits and pieces that are going to help me get some motion in there. It's also got all the power steering control gear on there as well. Again, out of this one, I haven't taken the traction motor, which is buried in there somewhere. But it's far too big for what I need, so I won't go in my small transverse engine car. So what I have done is walk around the side here and I've taken this motor out which again, as you can see, I've taken the pump gear off. It's actually the motor that runs the hydraulic pump for the up-down tilt. What I'm planning to do, as I'll point out later on, is do a, a really cheap conversion. And I'll show you more later.